Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply nail wraps using a 1-2-3 method. I was looking at my orders and I noticed that a bunch of you are ordering the sparkle wraps, which are beautiful for the holiday season, but they tend to be a little bit more difficult to apply than the normal matte and glossy wraps. Um, so the first thing you're going to need is an application kit. You can go to my Jamboree store online and purchase one for yourself for $12.50. It'll come with nail clippers, a buffer block, nail file, curved nail scissors, the purple cuticle pusher, which is very popular, two orange sticks, two nail prep cleansing wipes, and all this will come in this really cute little bag that you can keep all your application tools in or reuse it as a makeup bag. So the first thing you want to do is to prep your nails. You're going to wash your hands with Dawn soap or any dish soap um, because they're degreasers so it'll get rid of any extra oils on your hands. Then you're going to cut, file, and push back any cuticles. So I've already done my fingers, but when you push back your cuticles, you want to keep an eye out for any white flakes on your nail beds. That's an invisible cuticle. A lot of us have it and we don't notice it, but it prevents your nails from sticking on and it makes it so they don't last the full two weeks. So make sure you get rid of all the invisible cuticles and push them to the side. Once you've had that done, you're going to get your buffer block and you're just going to lightly buff the top of your nails. All you're really doing is getting rid of the shine. You're not trying to file down too much of it. Once you buffer blocked the top of your nail, you're going to get your nail prep cleansing wipes that came in the little application kit and just wipe off any residue that has been left behind. So now your nails all set to have the wrap put on. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my mini heater. You can go ahead and use a blow dryer, just anything with a good heat source. Um, these mini heaters are $19 at my Jamboree store. So I will turn it on and you're going to get your wraps. You can see that I pre-cut them already. I started doing my hands and I figured I'd do a video. So you're going to use an orange stick to lift up the nail wrap. Don't use your fingers because your fingers have oils and it's going to make the adhesive not sticky anymore. So you're going to go ahead and grab one nail. And in this one, we're not going to heat it first. We're just going to go ahead and put it without heat on our nail. And I just touched it with my hand. Don't do that. <laughs> and once it's on your nail, you can go ahead and heat it up. What you're trying to focus on is the center of your finger. And just for a couple seconds. And then you're going to just smash down the center. So if you look at it, had I heated the whole thing and smashed it all down at once, these edges curved around. So we've only heated the middle and it's nice and straight all the way to the tip. Now you're going to take your time and do one edge. Just three seconds is enough. You don't want to overheat these. And to get rid of the curves, you're just going to pull the nail wrap at the tip and bring it down. That'll get rid of any lumps. And you can see it's nice and smooth. No lumps were left behind. Then you're going to do the same thing on the opposite end. Again, just three seconds. Especially with these um, sparkle wraps, you want to apply less heat and more pressure. That's really going to make them stick. Along with doing the 1-2-3 method, you also don't want to use a nail file. We do have some glass nail files that work a lot better, but I say just go ahead and use your scissors to trim off the edges. If you're using a nail file, it might be too rough for the sparkle wrap and the sparkle underneath is going to shine through and you just won't have that perfect finish like you did with the matte and gloss wraps. So once you go ahead and cut right along all the edges, I'm noticing that my nail wasn't filed evenly so I'm just going to cut into my nail and you're not going to mess up your wrap doing that. 
and it just makes your finger nice and even. So I happen to have really curved nails, so my fingers don't stick that well, or my nail wraps don't stick that well at the tips. What you can do is use a baggie, just a regular sandwich bag, and you're gonna put your finger in and just kind of wrap it around so that the tips and edges are all smashed down. You're gonna use your heat source again, and you're gonna warm up the rest of the wrap. Just a few seconds. Remember, especially with the sparkle wraps, you don't wanna to apply too much heat. So all the pressure is with the bag that's smashing it down. You can even grab your cuticle pusher and smash down any edges so it has as much pressure as it can. And there you go. You are all done. And this is a sparkly wrap. Or uh, yeah, more of a sparkle and it's thick. It's a lot thicker than the clear wraps. If you ever end up feeling it, there's a big difference. So it's nice and smooth, there's no bumps. And hopefully that will help you guys out for these beautiful wraps that should be coming in. I know we ordered during Black Friday and Cyber Monday, so delivery is a little bit slower. So hang on tight, check your tracking info. It's coming on its way. And I hope to see you guys next time. Okay, bye.